2008 through 2009 13-inch MacBook Air logic board replacement. When removing the rear access panel on this model, there are three different unique screw sizes. On the top left is a medium-sized screw. And in the top right corner, there's also the same type medium-sized screw. In the middle two top screws, they are the longer ones. So in total, there are two long screws in the middle top, two medium length screws on each of the top corners, and six very small screws going around the rest of the contour of the MacBook. Go ahead and remove the four medium and long screws up top first. Now go ahead and remove the six short Phillips head screws. You can now lift up the cover. Before you begin, start off by disconnecting the battery from the logic board. It's connected one simple connector switch. The battery is being held in with nine Phillips head screws in various sizes. Go ahead and unscrew those screws about five to seven turns each, but leave them in their perspective socket this will make it easier for you to reinstall the battery without losing the screws. Once all nine are loose, go ahead and lift up the battery and move it over to the side. Logic board removal. Please note the difference between the 2008 original MacBook Air logic board and the 2008 late and 2009 logic boards. The original board has a blue color and it also has a slightly different attachment for the heat sink and the fan as well as the different hard drive connector. Begin by disconnecting the USB and the hard drive cables from the logic board. This will expose the hard drive bracket screw. Go ahead and unscrew this Phillips head screw as we'll need to loosen the hard drive bracket to pull out the board in the later step. Begin removing the screws that are fastening the logic board to the case. Let's start off with the first fan screw. Then the screw near the fan screw that holds the logic board in place. These are all Phillips head screws. Go ahead and expose the eyesight cable and just remove it from the logic board. Now remove the top right corner screw. We can go ahead and remove the LVDS cable now. It's attached to the case with one screw. Go ahead and remove that. Gently pry your finger underneath it and gently pull it out. Pull out the DCN cable. Now the screw that secures the logic board on the bottom right. The Bluetooth and the uh, keyboard and trackpad have a retainer that's screwed in with two small Phillips head screws. Just turn them three times each, leave them in place and remove that. Now you can pry out the cable connections. Go ahead and lift up the hard drive bracket slightly and disconnect the sound card. You can now pull out the board. Please note that if you're transferring the fan and the heat sink, the fan is connected to the logic board. You can go ahead and disconnect that and remove the two screws that are attaching it. Then you can remove the uh, six Phillips head screws that are attaching the heat sink. Logic board installation. Begin 
by moving all the cables out of the way and sliding the board into its position. Slide it underneath the hard drive bracket by gently pulling the bracket up. Pull all the cables out of the way, make sure nothing is trapped, and place the logic board into position. Go over several times and make sure that no cables are trapped and that the logic board is sitting firmly in its socket. Make sure the eyesight cable is not trapped either. Once you're confident that nothing's trapped, go ahead and begin reinstalling the logic board. The first screw I would suggest is in the top right. This will start securing the board in place. Then the top left screw. Go ahead and reconnect the LVDS cable. Secure the small screw that keeps the LBDS cable from wiggling around. Reconnect the DCN power board. Reconnect the trackpad, keyboard, and Bluetooth. Reinstall the trackpad, keyboard, and Bluetooth retainer. This is sometimes difficult to do as the screws are extremely tiny. You can now reattach the fan Phillips head screw. logic board screw. At the top of the fan, go ahead and reconnect the eyesight cable. You can do this by aligning it and just gently pushing it in with a screwdriver. We can now re-secure the hard drive bracket screw. Now reconnect the USB to the logic board as well as the hard drive cable. Now go over all the connections, making sure that they're tucked in. Sometimes the eyesight camera cable needs to be tucked into the hard drive bracket. Battery reinstallation. Place the battery gently into its socket. Go ahead and secure the nine Phillips head screws. You can now go ahead and reconnect the battery to the logic board. We're ready to put back the main cover. Place the cover and cover the MacBook Air. Start off by first installing the two long middle Phillips head screws. Then the two medium sized Phillips head screws on each corner on the top of the MacBook. Now install the six short Phillips head screws going around the bottom contour of the MacBook. That's it, we're done.